The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. So coming up in the next 10 minutes, uh, we'll do Clash with Kenzie and your chance to get to see John Mulaney and Pete Davidson at Rosemont Theater. What? Oh, that's going to be hilarious. It's going to be a fun time right there. So you can compete against Kenzie for those tickets. Um, And then also want to remind you before we get to sports, where by the way, it might be illegal to boo the Bears in Soldier Field. We'll talk about that in sports coming up here in about four minutes after the Pumpkins. I want to remind you, this starts tomorrow up at Billy Corrigan's Madam Zuzu's up there in Highland Park. They're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Siamese Dream. 30 years from Siamese Dream. And they're going to do some acoustic performances Sunday, 6 and 9. Those have been sold out, by the way, uh, September 17th. But... They're turning off, turning Madam Zuzu's into a Tower Records this weekend. That's so cool. Amazing. Me and Case are going to run up there after the show tomorrow. We'll have video on social for it. But it's a party like it's 1993 event. And our local friend DJ Greg Corner will be up there. And they're just turning the whole place into Tower Records, their tea shop. And it will be incredible. There'll be merch and live streaming and all kinds of fun things. Because that, of course, honors the anniversary of when the Pumpkins played at midnight when Siamese Dream came out in 1993 at the Tower Records on Clark Street. So they're kind of just honoring how they got started in a way. Were you the, also there? I was not there at that, sadly. I wish I was. Loser. It's on YouTube. Awesome. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> the Q101 Morning Crew. Well, we'll actually start with something not the Bears. Serial killer and Chicago Cub Pete Crow Armstrong killed it in center field last day. Let me tell you something. He looked great. (laughs) He looked amazing. He Uh, did. Defensively, unbelievable. Made a couple ridiculous catches. And Seiya Suzuki hit his 17th home run of the year. And also... He went uh, three and four on the night. Home runs on like this. How much he loved playing the game and how good he Ooh, was. At. Well hit to right. Back yeah. goes Blackman. It's got a chance. Gone. Seiya Suzuki has tied the game. He did. And then they lost the game because Chris Bryant, former Cub, hit the go-ahead home run. And the Cubs lose 6-4 eventually by the Rockies. Uh, that sucks. That was a bummer. That's a bummer. Because I was feeling pretty good. <laughs> yeah. For quite a while. Uh, don't feel too bad. The wild card race still is Philly, Cubs, D-backs, Reds, Marlins, San Fran. You know, the Cubs, you really need to announce it, like, enunciate. What did I enunciate? D-backs. <laughs> D-backs. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What was that case? The Cubs have done a remarkable thing that I think now with the benefit of hindsight, we can appreciate them for, which is that loyalty gets you nowhere in life. And the Cubs have proved that by being a very good team this year while shedding the dead weight of Chris Bryant and Javi Baez and Anthony Rizzo over the last few years. As it stands now, Baez with the Tigers, one of the worst contracts in Major League Baseball. Chris Bryant with the Rockies, not all that much better. And Anthony Rizzo, while still a solid player, is obviously in decline. The Cubs said, thank you for the World Series. Now get out of town. And look at the Cubs. They're doing all right. I gotta you say. know what? I will say money was offered to players, and they just wanted more. Mm. And, and uh, we're very lucky that we didn't get tied up in some very, very, very expensive contracts. Yeah, you could have the just Javi Baez relive, contract right now. Right, just to relive glory days That's what I'm saying. moments. It's just, it's not worth it. That's not what this is about. I got to admit. What? I was emotional and got mad at every one of those players getting not what they deserve. He flushed a Cubs jersey down the toilet. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm emotional. That and- only affects you. Now you don't have a jersey. <laughs> and, or a toilet. And you have to go buy another one so they make more money. I had to go to the bathroom downstairs in the apartment building, the public bathroom, for about a week because I ruined the toilet. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, that's what I am. You do things that make no sense all the time. Hey, I'm a Lunch Bill Chicago sports fan. That's what I did. Yeah, you're a real fan. Oh, now, that, you- that, if you are a real fan, then you just want the Cubs. Let them do their job. But but go back to that moment. When they were letting everybody go, weren't you emotionally mad? No, I wasn't angry. I was bummed because it's like, oh, God, I wish okay. we could just win all the World Series with these guys. Thank I get you. the emotional tie. But, but it's not happening. Is that honestly what you want them to do? That's what I wanted at the time, to keep them and keep, let, let's run it back. Let's go with these guys. It's not, that's not how it works. Well, that's how it works sometimes, but it doesn't. It didn't work now. And in history, the last time that happened. This history. The, this team just snagged four World Series. It there, doesn't happen. There's many teams that when they re-sign players, they've gone on and had successful, you know, runs. Maybe like with the great Bambino, well, but it hasn't really happened in a while. We can, right? look, at, we can look at the Cubs competitor, the Cardinals, who have done it pretty successfully and won a lot more. So I'm just saying, at the time, I was very emotional and I flushed the Cubs jersey down the toilet. And this- they knew they had really just worked on their farm system because that was a mistake. Not necessarily a mistake. We just, we just, you know... 
busted the load to win in 2016. Okay. <laughs> so we finally like rebuilt that farm system. They knew what they had coming. They wanted to rebuild for future success instead of spending all their money on these contracts, which again are in decline. It was actually a very smart move. Even though emotionally, yes, History we is... love these players. I understand that. That's why there's murals of Chris Bryant painted. He's been honored. But also, we would like to win again. Well, history has proven they made the right moves. Absolutely. Yes. No Th question. This is a lesson to never trust Brian's instincts on anything. I, if I'm you do saying. that, you will succeed. That's 100% wrong uh, because usually I'm right. I was wrong on that one. But I got emotional at the time like everybody else because 108 you, years. Because you love the past. I, I, I what well, was only a oh, couple we all years. Know that. It was only a couple years at that time since they broke the curse. So I felt like these guys could do it again. I felt like they they should have done it again. They should have done it they again. They really had again. the opportunity to do it again. It's they not did. like they dismantled it the following year, That's right. Brian. They did. I know. So I was still holding on a little bit emotional over analytical. And then everyone they could knows do it. a player will be able to do it seven years later. Uh, it wasn't like, quite that long. Out of pride. We're talking. My favorite athlete is in his mid thirties. That's when they really start cooking. Chris Bryant is only thirty now. Is he only 30 He's now? only 30 years oh, old. man, and he still looks so good. Yeah, he's got $180 million. I, I'm glad he man. got his money. I'm glad all of them got their money. Just then, I'm glad they're not here right now. And <laughs> yeah. I am. History has proven it right. Yeah, I'm glad Javi Baez is getting paid in Detroit. Yes. By the way, Pete Crow Armstrong, did you know his mom was in Little Big League? I have seen that. She was Jenny. She was the mom in that's Little Big insane. League. And that's his mom. What are the odds of that? That's not good. I don't know that movie. You don't know Little Big League? No. I know the band Little Big League. I didn't know there was a band There's Little a Big band League. Little Big so League. Uh, this will resonate with some of our listeners. There's a, an artist called uh, Japanese Breakfast. The singer of Japanese Breakfast was in Little Big League. I digress. I don't know about the movie, though. Wow. Yes. There's some facts no one's... You're not getting anywhere else no, on, in no, the Chicago that's, that's Radio a this morning. exclusive. So anyway, the Cubs will do it again today, 2 p.m. to decide that series. White Sox win the first of a doubleheader yesterday, 6-2. But then the second game... So they won that game. That's great. But the second game was the wild one that they lost. They were down 7 nothing in the sixth and scored eight runs and then they lost 11 10 it was it was an okay loss because the comeback the eight runs in the sixth inning really exciting to watch yeah. i was into it and yeah. then it all fell apart again yeah case of course the white Sox fan who did something that he 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 didn't pile on his own white Sox in the situation he texted me a picture of the crowd at the game yesterday yeah the, the afternoon game the first of the two in the double header kenzie you could count the people in the stands like one by one you could count heads and i i don't oh white Sox team oh, nobody there i get it i've heard your hack jokes before but yesterday in the afternoon not looking good it was a whole it looked like a covid game it looked like they were playing in 2020 there was one person in one whole section yes. i just that's just part of it it's 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 disturbing it was bizarre you gotta ask yourself why wouldn't you move up to a better seat? Yeah. <laughs> you don't see somebody right in the middle. It's like, what are you? That's that's true because especially what are guaranteed, you doing? at guaranteed rate, they're not super strict at Wrigley. I've had seats that are nicer, and I've had my ticket ready to go, and I still get accosted by Cubs security guards. They're like, ah, you, there's no way you're sitting here. I'm like, no, no, here's my ticket. Guaranteed rate, they don't care. But yeah. it's not even that. It's like, I feel like even if, if nobody was there, like just. Go ahead and scoot John up like there's a row or two. What are we doing? It's my seat and I'm sitting in it. Row seven, seat D, that's mine. I mean, like, you're, you're not even in an eye hole, bro. <laughs> like, and your dream is to sit behind home plate. Oh, that's the best. And you could have done that. Yeah, I could have. I don't you know, think, you know. I was home watching it yesterday yeah. like an idiot. <laughs> and finally, the Bears. Uh, while emphasizing understands that Bears fans where they're coming from and their frustration, Jaquan Brisker said... Why well, maybe they understand. Yeah, he understands. <laughs> he says... Why are they mad at us? I don't I get it. I thought it was a great day. He, he wishes fans would have their back more and not boo so early in games. That's fair. I wouldn't want to get booed in the first half if I was playing an NFL game. <laughs> at least give me until the third quarter. I I, that is fair, but also there's a lot of years of boos pent up. <laughs> yes. If you had won a Super Bowl last year... I don't think you'd get booed in the first quarter. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> when you're approaching 40 years from a Super Bowl, the 85 Bears is coming up on 40 I just years. Think, I think it's some pent-up aggression. It's like when when your man explodes because you leave a plate out, you realize there's some other stuff going on there. <laughs> <laughs> the Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. All right, we'll take someone to compete against Kenzie in a trivia contest in just a couple minutes. 312-591-8300. You can still try to get through. Uh, but in the meantime, the tickets you're winning is Pete Davidson and this man right here, John Mulaney at Rosemont Theater. I used to drink, and then I drank too much, and I had to stop. 
I don't know if anyone here is thinking about quitting drinking, but you need to know two things if you're thinking about quitting drinking. The first is that when you stop drinking and you still go to parties where people are drinking, they will have no idea what to offer you. Like, once people start drinking for the night, they forget everything that isn't alcohol. Like, I'll show up at a party and they'll be like, hey, everybody, all right, we got Coronas in the fridge, and oh, hey, Mulaney, would you like, like, an old turnip that we found in a cabinet? Would that be good for you? Would you like that? I know you don't drink. <laughs> also, if you quit drinking, you're about to lose the best excuse you've ever had in your life, which is, I'm really sorry about last night. I was just so drunk. That is a get-out-of-jail-free card that you don't even realize you have until you lose it. I can't say that anymore. I can never be like, I'm really sorry about last night. I was just so drunk. Now I have to be like, I'm really sorry about last night. It's just that I'm mean and loud. <laughs> The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. You can't defeat her. She's too powerful. Clash with Kenzie. <laughs> Let the battle begin. Q101. All right, how about this? Rosemont Theater, John Mulaney, Pete Davidson, Thursday, October 5th. Before they go on sale, free tickets and our friends at Live Nation will hook us up. Morgan. You can't even buy them. You can't. Not till Friday at 10 a.m. But Morgan checking in from Round Lake Beach to compete against Kenzie in a trivia contest. Morgan Ahoy, tell us something really quick about yourself. Um, I'm currently a student getting my master's in school social work, and I absolutely love Pete Davidson. So mm. if this works out, it was meant to be. If not, that's okay. Would you date him? Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I would feel that means I have to be, like, as pretty as the other girls he's dated. So you I feel probably like are. To... Stop it. Oh. You're just as pretty, girl. Thank you. He has a good run, though. Yeah, that's a pretty elite. That's, that's that's a... I, also think, <laughs> I think if you took most women and gave them professional makeup artists and stylists and a great photo shoot, like... We could all look really good or really bad when you add stuff. So, yeah, but you know. when you look as good as Kate Beckinsale, I don't know. Uh, Morgan, I'm sure you're lovely, but, you I'm know. sure. <laughs> hey, damn, Case. I bet Morgan's hot as hell, and you just ruined your chance. That's okay. I'm taken. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right now you are. Morgan might be on deck for you there. What do you know? I, I don't know anything. No, you're, right. you're fine. Your girl loves you. It's all, right. all good. Settle down, Brian. <laughs> I think your girl is also trying to date Pete Davidson. So be careful. <laughs> all right, Morgan. The beautiful Morgan. Call, yes. he call heads or tails on the count of three. One, two, three. Call it. Heads. Ah, it's tails. Kenzie gets to go first. Jeez, oh, it's about time. I didn't do it for like two weeks. Not a good sign. Uh, let's see here. Kenzie, are you ready? Yeah. So yesterday, the Apple made the big announcement of this new iPhone where the charger is going to be different and all that crap and make you spend a lot more money. What year was the first iPhone released? First year 2007 that's right yeah okay good yep. good job oh was that a lot to get one i recall being a little crabby about the whole thing <laughs> still had, uh still had like that nokia the candy I had bar the envy flip it was orange if anybody recalls i do i do yeah you never i pictured you a razor girl no you never razor no mm. i wanted a keyboard envy was one of the ones with a keyboard at the time wow do, 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 do. all right let's keep going here uh morgan is it Morgan's question? Yes. Okay, Morgan's question. Morgan, uh, let's yeah. see here. Name two. Name one of the two Major League Baseball teams in Texas. Um. Three. Two. Oh. One. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. We're just talking about baseball teams that may or may not have won multiple times. It's happened. Uh, obviously, she wasn't listening, Brian. It's happened before. Uh, name one of the two major league baseball teams in Texas, Kenzie. Houston Astros. The Astros. The Rangers be the Biggest other one. Biggest cheetahs around, baby. Uh, that's right. Uh, back to Kenzie. Yes, two to nothing. Uh, Kenzie, what world war lasted from 1914 to 1918? I'm going to go with the world war. Mm hmm The second one? It's a world war, yes. But she said the second one. I said one. the second one. Oh, the second one? No. Damn uh, it, Brian, why would you have <laughs> answered that question like that? Uh, Morgan, what world war um, lasted from... Is it going to be World War One then? It's one then, yeah. If you oh, would have yeah. gotten that wrong, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two to one, back to Morgan. Morgan, what comic strip features a dog named Odie and a human named John Arbuckle? 
Garfield. Garfield's right. We got tie game. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. I know Case was wrote the questions. He loves Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love Garfield. It was always a Garfield question. There's a big Garfield argument during that Cranberry song about how many Garfield questions are in he trivia. He always writes Garfield questions. There was questions. a big Garfield argument during that Cranberry song. What a sentence. Again, <gasps> no one else in Chicago radio has that conversation. No, they do not. Two to two. Back to Kenzie. Kenzie, what are the four Harry Potter houses? Oh, yeah, baby. Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. They're all right. I'd be in Slytherin. Good job. We all know it. Yes, that's true. Is that the bad one? Is that the evil one? Little, They don't have to be evil. Oh. But a little bitchy. They're, they're, not, they're not light. <laughs> they're bitchy? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. A little bit. Morgan. Yeah. Which, films, which film director's films included Raging Bull and Goodfellas? Oh, I don't know. Three, two. Is this the Tarantino movies? Not Tarantino. Great director, oh. though. Oh. Good guys. Good guys. Kenzie? Scorsese, baby. M- Martin Scorsese, as they say. The people that know it's Scorsese, but it's Scorsese, whatever. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. It is four to two. It's back to Kenzie. She can win with the correct answer. Give everybody a shot at these John Mulaney, Pete Davidson tickets. Wow. Oh it's not good. You kind of want Morgan to win, right? We're not giving them out anymore, though. We're done with that, right? No. The good news is, is even if I win, Morgan could still try to call That's and right. win the That's tickets. Right. I would like to say that. Kenzie, for well, the win. What wi- if we want to see if Pete would date me? That's true. Mm. She's trying to talk her way yeah. into it. That's uh, a it's convincing <laughs> argument. That's a power move. She wants me to throw the game. <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> Kenzie. What? For the win, dump, floater, and wipe are terms used in which team sport? I don't know. That whole thing sounds disgusting. Yes. Guess a sport? Three? I thought lacrosse? Two, I don't la- know. Not lacrosse. I've never heard that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Morgan, do you know? Can I, can you repeat that? Oh, boy. Uh, dump, floater, and wipe are terms used in which team sport? Jump motor and wipe in a team sport. Yep. Three, two, guess a sport? Motocross. What'd you say? Motocross? Motocross. Good guess, actually. That is a good guess. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be volleyball. Oh. Volleyball. No. Not a big, don't get a big vertical. I don't mm. know if you know that about me. 5'2", <laughs> and I don't get much taller even when I jump. Okay. Yeah. Not my sport. All right, 4-2, and it's back to Morgan. Morgan. Again, everybody listening, these John Mulaney, Pete Davidson tickets on the line here. Uh, Morgan, what store would you find great value branded products at? Walmart. Walmart is right. Out of dinner. Four yeah, to three. That. Four to three. Back to Kenzie. Uh, Kenzie. Yes. What awards has an EGOT winner won? EGOT. You want me to list all of them you're saying? Yes, EGOT. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and um, a Tony. Oh, <laughs> damn. I was like, if I can't remember the team, this is really going to suck. Whoa. Oh, crap. Oh, stresses me out. Morgan, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Here's what you need to do. Hang up right now and call her 10 right now. 312-591-8300. God bless the baby. You are going to see John Mulaney and Pete Davidson at the Rosemont Theater with Brian and Kenzie on Q101. The Q101 Morning Cruise Clash with Kenzie. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. And we already got our winner of the John Mulaney and Pete Davidson tickets. Uh, Caller 10 happened pretty, pretty, pretty quick when Kenzie won for the first time in a while, I think. Um, actually, you won the other day, but you were just so nice and you gave the, the prize pack away. But these tickets are pretty ball. I feel bad. I feel like I can't, uh, you know, with prize packs, I'm like, oh, heck yeah, go get them. We but want, we I want feel... every, yeah, everybody have a T-shirt. Right. And it's like, it's some other cool action. Don't talk it down that much. But it's a fun little, little <laughs> setup. But I feel bad with these tickets because people are truly, truly waiting. And even if you lose in trivia, you could still call back and win. Yeah. And get on the line. You're proven to be able to get through the line. You're Absolutely. doing good. So I wanted to, I don't, I don't want to just give those away even if I win because I, I want everyone to have a chance. So. And give everybody a chance. So yeah. we'll do it tomorrow and Friday at the same time in Clash with Kenzie here on Q101. Uh, coming up at 8, though, you didn't win those? How about Riot Fest, three-day passes? It's about 48 hours away, Riot Fest. So at 8 a.m., more tickets for all three days. And... So this is a kind of interesting what's going on behind the scenes here with the show right now. So Chevelle, great band playing Aragon tonight. Chicago guys with Three Days Grace. Love them. I've, I've known Sam for 20 years at this point now. And and I'm so excited for them to come by and stop in. But they have a bus problem going on. 
Big bus issue. Big bus issue. We're going to hear about it. They're, they're going to either call or try to get here by the end of the show. So it won't be after 8 like we were talked about. Well, it will be after 8, for well, sure. <laughs> it will be after 8. But no, not... they're guaranteed here after 8. Yeah. Uh, Casey, you have an update? Well, I've been talking to Chevelle all morning. They are doing their very best to get here. They had some bus issues overnight, like you said. So yeah. I, don't, I don't have anything new other than they are emphasizing to me how badly they want to be here. So... We should hopefully have them in God, I would hope, in an hour or uh, right around 9 o'clock. So we will see. I'm uh, requesting two things for everyone listening. What's okay. that? One, if you see Chevelle in their broke down bus, please text in a picture so we can get... That way <laughs> don't we don't help them. Just text in a no, photo. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, be like um, everybody else. Just film the bus on fire. Also, if you see Chevelle anywhere else, like a Starbucks, <laughs> you better let us know. Yeah. Those lying pieces of crap. <laughs> yeah, our, our, our bus broke down. Hey, can I have the grande <laughs> yeah, mocha? <laughs> The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. So we are just about six minutes away from Riot Fest tickets, three-day passes. The event itself is only 48 hours away. Some of your last chances then coming up, so be here. 8 a.m. for your chance. First, let's kill Curtis with your headlines. This is not headline news. The MTV Video Music Awards were handed out last night. The one glorious night of the year when music television celebrates music. Jamie Lynn Spears joined the cast of Dancing with the Stars. So the new title of the show will be Dancing with Sisters of the Stars. Aerosmith suspended their tour due to Steven Tyler's vocal issues. It was either that or drape a haunted house skeleton in scarves. Wallet Hub <laughs> rated Utah as the happiest state, unless they asked the kids of that nut job mom who duct taped them and wouldn't allow them food. And Wallet Hub ranked West Virginia the least happy state, which is ironic for a state that consumes a heck of a lot of happy meals. This is not headline news. The Q101 Morning Crew on Q101.